Okay, so it's um, August the 3rd, and uh, that week that I had uh, placed all my plants out in the gazebo uh, back here, actually, I don't even know what it looks like back here, that was a horrible, horrible, horrible week. We had cold weather, it was raining, stormy, we had vicious storms that were knocking trees down. My plants were all over the place. They were, they were, the, they had branches broken, I had peppers on them, the peppers came off, the, the plants were so mangled and horrible uh, that they were stunted and shocked and it was a disaster. So uh, I've, I got them planted, I nursed them, I, uh, I gave them um, four doses of Ultra Bloom, which is um, a high phosphate, a high phosphoric acid uh, fertilizer to try to encourage uh, floral growth. And um, basically, you know, the plants were just ugly. In the end, I wound up staking all of them because uh, they were just, there was one point when we had, I got them in the, when I got them in the garden here, then we had torrential downpours that knocked them all sideways. So I was here in the rain. Um, this, this was full of water, <laughs> about maybe four or five inches of water in it. But I was in here putting stakes in every single plant and in some cases more than one stake. So finally a couple of weeks ago uh, it started to get nice and um, and then the plants just kind of took off. So here they are now it's the beginning of August and the plants are finally starting to um, starting to get going. So as long as we have summer in, until the end of December I should be fine. <laughs> and of course I've taken apart my greenhouse which I'm probably going to have to put back together again if I want to um, have any chance at all. But you know, in fact, a lot of my plants came back and are doing really well. You can see there are peppers on them. I'm going to get in there in just a moment. But uh, almost all the super hots are, um, are really just now starting to come together. So I'll tell you what I've got here. And, um, and I'll see if I can find any peppers to show you. I've got four seven pods. Um, this is going to be painful. Four seven pod Jonas, I should say. And I know that I have, uh, that I do have, uh, blah, 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 Yikes! I really, really do have, uh, I think I have, I have one seven pod. Oh, thank goodness for editing. That's a miracle over there. It's not even a seven pod. Uh, okay. Oh boy, there's one, but that's not what I was looking for. I know I have one that's a little bit bigger. I have, um, you know, a bunch of little ones. And you can see I do have flowers on them, and I have lots of tiny flowers that haven't even started yet. Um, so they'll probably do well, but I don't know how, if I have enough time for them to uh, to really develop and ripen. I have four moruga plants, and um, again, they're small. Um, there's one right there, and uh, I do have some others. Um, there's another one over here, and Trinidad Scorpion Maruga. Ah, very nice. And uh, I have three Butch Teas. I think they're doing a little bit better. There's a couple, a couple tiny ones. And uh, I think I've got right there. Hey, cute. Oh, look how big it is. It's huge. <laughs> no, pardon me. That's still a Maruga. Holy smokes. Here's another uh, butch tea plant. Plants themselves certainly look nice now. They looked horrible before. Oh yeah, there's a nice, just want to show you, take a look at this. Isn't that a beautiful looking butch tea? Nice. And I've got another one back here. I was looking at them earlier today. So I should know exactly where they are since I was looking at them earlier today. But that certainly doesn't make me sound very smart. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the butch, well, 
that's not it. Uh, I have a couple of brain strains over here. Um, and um, I have a Dugla plant that's really quite insane. It's quite insane, you know, with uh, maybe 40 or 50 peppers on it. So for whatever reason, the Douglas, whoops, not so rough. Oh God, why don't I break that branch right off? That would be smart of me. Okay, let's just sit and look at the Dougla. <laughs> okay, and I have four Carolina Reapers, and I just want to tell you that I think they're really attractive looking plants. But, and you can see how many uh, flowers I have, so I'm sure it's going to, it's all going to work out very, very well. But at the moment I don't have any peppers on them. Not yet. Then I have a couple Peruviano Iron Seals. And, uh, well. <laughs> I get about um, 40 uh, pods on each plant. You can see it's already, they're already ripening. Mm -hmm. Beautiful plant. Then over here, I have a pimenta moringa. And I've had a kind of an issue with it, with a, with this plant and a, oops, sorry, a couple plants um, that I have in another uh, garden. They, the peppers come out this color. You know, like when you have a pepper like uh, the Peruviana Iron Seal or basically any pepper, <laughs> it's green and it ripens to a color. And when it's uh, to that color and, uh, you know, it's nice and dark, then you say, oh, okay, it's ready to go. But uh, it comes out like this. It begins like this. And um, how do you know when they're ripe? I've never had them before, and I don't even know what they're, how big they're supposed to get. Are they still getting bigger? I have no idea. Anyway, it's a beautiful plant, and the peppers are sure nice. Uh, the Ajiumba, Umba Lumba. I, I grew this last year as well, and um, I have, uh, like I do have uh, a few peppers on it. I have a few peppers on it that are, you know, oh, right over here, some more. And um, I have a lot of flowers, and you can see. There's another one over there. There's another one over here. There's lots, lots. This is a very sweet pepper. So I really liked it, so I decided to grow it again. And um, over here, I have behind here, right beside the uh, Pruviano Arancio, I have the Aji Benito. And um, I have about 60 uh, peppers on it. But it looks very similar. Well, of course, it's a little bit on the skinny side, and it's ripening red. As you can see, I've got a couple ripe ones. Uh, whoops. I have, um, there's another one over here, down there. Oh, man, I have a lot of peppers. I tried one, and not very tasty, but pretty hot. Uh, uh, nice heat. I will just put it that way. Then I have the uh, red devil's tongue over here, and again, Lots of tiny peppers. But I don't even think that I have... I don't have any large ones yet. They're all tiny. And the Red Scotch Bonnet, which is a compact little plant um, with hundreds of flowers on it. And uh, again, this uh, plant does have some larger uh, pods on it. Here. It has maybe 10 peppers on it that are a good size. Ah, oh, man. There's something about actually holding a camera and looking for peppers that uh, makes you feel like such an idiot. Come on! Uh, oh, never mind. Let's see, where am I here? Aji Benito. The Aji Ahua Chapau. What a plant. Look at this thing. I have no idea what to expect here. 
They're kind of like uh, big fat Thai peppers or um, well you know what I mean. You can see what they're like. Very nice. And um, maybe I'll just keep going across. I have a, a Naga Morch that's doing very very well. Um, I have lots of peppers on it. So, I mean, that's certainly something worthwhile. Look at that. Yes. Let's see. Then I have Habanero Tasmania. And I just want to kind of show you. They look like the UFO peppers that I've seen pictures of. I've never grown them or tried them, so I don't know what they're like, but that's what they look like to me from pictures. <laughs> and the plant goes on. It's not tall by any means, but... See, there's the negus. Very nice. And then I have a Butchilokia carbon over here. And you can see that I have quite a few peppers on that. Uh, I don't want to exaggerate. I have some. I can't see quite a few all the time. Okay, these two plants over here are my Pereiras. You can see the standard coloration that you see on them all the time. And um, again, I have about 50, um, 40 or 50 uh, peppers on each plant. This one a little bit more actually. And it goes on in different directions and down below as well. Then I have my hot paper lantern, which is right here. And I have about 70 peppers on each plant. I have three plants. And I'm about to show you my uh, <laughs> my weird shaped uh, hot paper lanterns. Nope. Not very weird. The only thing that's really weird is how many peppers are on each plant. <laughs> the thing I like them. I did notice that um, if I go over here and I take a look, you can see the blunt end that the um, that a regular um, hot paper lantern has. And I'm just kind of exaggerating something here, but. Uh, that's about the normal thing. The peppers on the, um, like almost all of the hot paper lanterns on these peppers, they all came from a seed from a strange shaped uh, pod. Now, uh, they're more or less like normal. They're, this is a second plant. So they're, I'm showing you two plants here. And there's also still lots of flowers and lots of new little peppers, not lots of growth. But they all come to the strange point. That one didn't. <laughs> there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is kind of funny how that happened. But I have, I, I don't even know exactly how many uh, hot paper lanterns I have. But uh, anyway, that's it. I have about 660 some odd peppers all together. And they're all, you know, that's very, it's quite, uh, quite beautiful. Um, and I expect in the next week or so, I'll have lots of little peppers uh, on my Carolina Reapers, my uh, Seven Pod Jonas, the Marugas and the uh, Butch Teas, the Brain Strains. So this half is doing great. This half is about a month behind schedule from the looks of it. Okay, now, I'm just going to show you a couple other things. My wife got, got wanted this, so we got this for her. It's a veggie patch salsa garden. And uh, to our surprise, even though there's hardly any soil in there, <laughs> look at the banana peppers. Banana peppers, and here's one that's almost ripe. And um, then I have a jalapeno, which I never grow, but it came in this one. So it turned out that it's quite beautiful. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. And uh, a little mini bell as well. Okay, and I um, almost forgot to mention something else. Uh, this is a garden center I go to. It's called Arbos, not too far from where I live. And um, I've given them seeds for peppers before. And when I went in there to get these uh, tomato plants, um, one of the owners uh, gave me a whole bunch of uh, plants. And, um, and I'm going to show them to you. This is a Fatali. My Fatali didn't... 
I like this one. My Fatali um, uh, seeds didn't germinate. So I was a little bit sad about that, but he gave me this plant. It didn't have any peppers on it at the time. So, um, and it was just a seedling. So now here it is, it's a nice big plant and it's full of beautiful, beautiful looking peppers. I mean, really look at them. Oops, holy smokes. Fatali. And I have the other, the other nine uh, plants in the front garden, which is a flower garden that my wife uh, looks after. I have two black princes over here. Now you don't, these plants don't get very much sun. So I'm just, it's almost like an experiment to see. Now again, I have no idea when these are ripe. I don't know. Because they, they start off, look at, so tiny. They start off this color. So do they, do they change color? Or is this the color that they stay? And there's more over on this side as well. Then I've got two more Peruviano RNCO plants. And um, not as many peppers on it as uh, mine, but lots of little ones. I mean, you can see that it's going to have a lot of plants, a lot of peppers, I should say. Um, Hungarian wax. I have four of them, and each one has, you know, one. This one has two. Uh, they all have flowers starting. Here's the other. Here's the third one over here, and uh, the fourth one. Uh, you know, I didn't pay for the plants, he just gave them to me, so I can't really uh, complain about it. Then this is a Tiburon or a, a Poblano um, plant. Oh, I just lost pepper. Oh, shit. Okay, so these change color, right? They turn red, I assume. Or does it get dark green? Or I don't know. I always see it grown green. There we go. Okay, so now that's the only pepper I have on it. Oh well. And uh, here's another Peruviano Arancio. And these are like the ancestors of uh, the seeds that I gave him uh, maybe four years ago. And it's a big seller for him. Uh, he, really, uh, he really does well selling them. He advertises them very well. They're so sweet and, uh, and uh, they have nice heat. Everybody likes them. And then here's the other Black Prince, which I've never grown before. I just wanted to see what that was like. These flowers. Anyway, so that's it. I was just curious to know how the plants would do with the such limited sunlight as they get here. And, uh, and that's all, you know. Uh, they're just really extra, uh, extra peppers for me. So anyway, that's it. Um, I apologize for taking so long to actually make this video. Uh, you know, I normally do a video in June. Uh, but uh, like I said, uh, the summer has been terrible, and it's only in the last few weeks that uh, that, the, that we started to get nice nice temps. Uh, it, it was in the mid 20s today, which is like really low 70s, and uh, like 25 I think is about 72, and it's supposed to go mid to uh, high 20s all the way through the rest of the month with uh, mostly sunlight, mostly sunshine, not too much rain if you can believe AccuWeather. So anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for um, bearing through this with me. I see it's 21 minutes already. So I uh, apologize for being so lengthy, but uh, that's what happens when I take so long to uh, make a video. Anyway, uh, again, thank you. If you aren't subscribed to me, please do. I really uh, do enjoy getting new subscribers. Um, thanks again. Bye now.